In reading the Dissolving Pain book, the thing that just really uh, blew me away in it was your view of, your model of pain, you know, and, and how that differs from sort of a more conventional model. So could you talk a little bit about that? Well, let's first talk about um, phantom limb pain, because I think it puts pain in, in a kind of perspective that it isn't usually uh, viewed. And, and that is, a person would come in with an amputated um, a limb, but feel pain in, in that absent limb. And they say they know it's crazy, that they feel like they may be going crazy because they actually feel a pain in the absent limb. This suggests, however, that pain isn't in the leg, but is occurring somewhere else. Like there's a model of the body somewhere in the brain, and it is that model that is ringing the bell, which is pain. And that, that's a very different idea than had been the case for hundreds of years. I think uh, there are theories around now that, that uh, open to a different idea of pain than, than the one that was extant during um, previous decades. In previous decades, it was you apply a stimulus and it travels up and then it creates a rings of bell in the brain and that's the pain. But now we know that the, the brain can be the source of the pain, even without a peripheral stimulus. And to just tie up what you're saying, when you open your focus, you change the brain. Right. So you're treating the pain at the site, at the location, by going into attention, going into the brain. Right. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's an amazing... The pain is mainly in the brain. <laughs> <laughs> By George, he's got it.